Hey, how's it going? Corporal Mason Goddard with Victor 17 Weapons Company, Cat Blue, Anarchy Section with Murph D. So Force Design 2030, in my own eyes and my words, would be more so focusing on an Indo-PACOM threat, more so getting back to our amphibious roots and going more towards the island hopping campaigns such as what we had in World War II and focusing instead of on a desert threat, now we're gonna focus on a more amphibious and island-based threat. We're kind of getting away from what we do traditionally in CAT, which is combined anti-armor team, which is more so designed for the desert. We've been implementing ourselves, you know, in uh, support by fires using non-standard pairing with the 50 cals and the 240s. For this exercise, we were able to actually set up a defense with 240s, almost like the line companies do, but still implement our CAT tactics and what we bring to the to the table as CAT. We haven't been, you know, doing what we're used to. We're doing different types of training, getting out of our comfort zone, and then pushing our limits, not only for just the junior Marines, but as well as the leaders thinking about how am I going to emplace these guys this way with you know the new force design as opposed to how we would with our standard uh, tactics. So this exercise is going to be with uh, Baker Company and Cat Blue as, as the opposition force and then Cat Red and some other attachments for Baker. Pretty much they were given an objective, sort of like what we did a lot as Marines in, uh, in World War II with seizing airfields. That was a very big thing. Um, they were tasked out with seizing this airfield. Our job was essentially just to take the ammunition and the weapon systems that we were given, along with our tactics and our, uh, and our guys, and to defend this airfield as best we could. So we kind of had a little bit of the underhand. You know, they had a company, they had a ton of reinforcements with air, mortars, you know, Artie and a cat section. We just had pretty much a cat platoon dismounted. But, you know, it's kind of more realistic training for what we might go up against. As, uh, as far as you know, Force Design 2030. I think it worked out very, very well. We were able to actually um, disrupt the enemy pretty well in, uh, as far as sitting in the defense. We were able to kind of delay them a little bit as best we could. Uh, we had a patrol kicked out, you know, we were in the defense, we had security going on. We were able to, you know, kind of distract them with the one patrol that we had, giving them that realistic training that, okay, hey, there's a threat over here, but we still have to focus on our mission. So when Baker Company was trying to seize us, they were already getting ambushed and attacked. And then we had a, another surprise attack waiting for them that we had set up in the defense. 